much of it's real. We are driving down to Shoshone Falls. Shoshone Falls near Twin Falls. The Shoshone Falls are often mistakenly called Twin Falls. Look at that tree there, just one tree growing right there at the base of the rock face. And somebody's got a driveway there, lucky duck. That would be an awesome piece of property. But yeah, look at these uh, rocks and stuff. Very sweet. Very cool. There's a fence here to keep people out. It's a marsh in there, so a wetland. Some... Well, it's kind of interesting. Interesting drive down here to the viewpoint. Here you have one of the locals working on their uh, <laughs> Dodge. In 600 feet, slide left onto North 3300 East, Champlain Road. Yes, we're going to slide east. So here's a booth, but there's nobody there. No gates or anything like that, so we'll just keep on going. And it's supposed to be five dollars. Yeah, it's supposed to be five dollars, but there was no sign or anything. Take the next left onto North 3300 East, Champlain Road. There are people that live down here, it looks like. There's the falls, the first glimpse of the falls there. And luckily there is a falls now because in the summertime they divert the water for irrigation use, but we're getting a lot of spring runoff right now, so they said it's a good time to visit. And as you can see, Archibald is very excited. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh -oh. So you gotta kind of keep an eye on the road here. You can have a surprise. There's your C prize, that tight turn. Without crops. With potholes and another vehicle coming toward you. Pleasure way. The expensive way. Don't Interesting to see the... Uh, oh, looks like it. a little yeah. something got it. But yeah, look at that rock layer there. <laughs> It's a very defined line. Don't drink the water though, there's lots of cattle runoff and stuff in there. There's another little marsh down here. Cool. Well good, I've finally made it to the falls. Designed it doesn't have an RV. I mean, what a ding dong! So there you go. There's some falls there. Look at this nice parkland over here, nicely maintained. Friendly people. Oh, cool. Some housing and stuff over there. Look at the falls. The Niagara of the West, they call it. Okay, this here is the parking lot. Let's see if we can uh, finagle ourselves into one of these spots. Well, it's nice that it's not too busy right now. Yeah. And sunset isn't until, what, 8.05? Yes. Okay, let me... Uh, 
only 6.40 right now. Parked down here at the end in the extra wide spot. So there you go, look at that uh, scenery all around. And the big CB radio antenna on top of the truck. Alright, let's pause this for a minute. And there you go. Shoshone Falls. Sounds pretty cool. Just uh, zooming in a little bit with the GoPro instead of the super wide, now I'm just the linear mode. So, very cool. You see those weirs up above there, and I presume those are to maintain a minimum level on the river level for uh, drawing off irrigation water somewhere up, to the, up there somewhere. And I imagine that uh, maybe later in the season, as the snow melt intensifies, that bare rock in front of us there is covered and the falls become much more intense. So later in the season, you could just imagine the whole area from the falls there all across into here being covered in water falls that would look like Niagara then. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. There's a whole bunch of birds on a rock right out there. Might be a good spot for flies or whatever. There's algae growing on those rocks. Okay, so there you go. Anyway, this here is the Snake River Canyon. There are some houses along the shore over there. And we are just looking at the canyon around us. Very interesting. Yeah, we can go down. Yeah. There we go. We're complete with shadow. Shoshone Falls Park. The land for this park was donated to the city of Twin Falls by Frederick J. Adams, Martha Stone Adams, to be held and maintained as a public park for park purposes only and for the beneficial use and enjoyment of all the people. 1932. Oh, very nice of them. Okay, let's uh, make our way to a lower platform, see what we got to look for there. We're down on the lower viewing platform now. And there, you can see pretty much the entire width of the falls. So I'd say about half of the falls are active right now. And when... Uh, snow levels get into a higher melt more of it would be covered so very cool you can see how the uh, rush of water has worn away the rock creating the channels here and there you can see how these two straight in front of us are shaped by the water coming down either side of them and uh, protruding out and over there you see the river coming down over the weir. Those are the upper falls there. And down there are some of the birds. Pigeons, actually. Yeah. 
So this here is the Snake River here. And looking on down, the Snake River, I guess it's the Snake River Canyon or something like that. Over there is a powerhouse. I don't know if it's still in use or not. Yeah. What? Okay. I guess uh, Kelly wants to go see from the other side. Okay, you just know that somebody is going to climb over the fence and collect all these uh, quarters and I bet it's probably a good 10-15 uh, bucks of uh, quarters and change there and uh, I think that there are some foreign coins there like uh, pesos and loonies and toonies and uh, several hair bands Some of your better shots have gotten them on the rock farther out there. Okay, so that's it. We uh, have successfully finally made it to Shoshone Falls. Near Twin Falls. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's uh, it for here. We're going to move on. So the last time I tried to come here was uh, when they were doing some service on the falls and stuff. Uh, so the falls were dry in the water. All the river was being diverted to somewhere. And this is our stairway down. Okay. <coughs> okay, might as well record the drive out of the park. Good critter. Somebody honking the horn. See the rocks out there. Here's our nice sharp corner. I said honking the corner. Honking the corner. Down. And there are other parks related to this up the road there, but uh, I don't think we have time to go see those today. It's right next to it. You see 
don't matter again. It's well, also a day use park. Yeah, these are uh, day use parks up here. That is the uh, Shoshone Lake and Twin Falls Park. There you go, that is the sun in front of us. Watch out. I know that. You just have to be careful and watch for your uh, turn. An upper level viewing area. Okay, so that is it. The Twin Falls, city of Shoshone, Shoshone. Falls uh, Shoshone. Park. Very cool. And here's more rocks. 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 Rock on, dude. Oh, you can get that tree that, remember, was embedded in the hillside there. That'd be cool. Yeah. More sunshine. Somebody knows. And remember, pay enough attention to the road that you don't go driving over the side. Not good. 500 demerit points if you do. But I'll give you a chance to win those points back if you can name the type of tree that was back there. 500 points for that. I'll pick it up. And back down over the canyon. Okay, and that is it. We are back up into that thing that poor excuse for what they refer to as civilization. And cruising along. Okay, this is the Ricketts BLM campground just north of Twin Falls, Idaho. And, uh, Ricketts RV Camp. Yeah, Ricketts RV Camp. Quarter mile north of the Canyon Bridge. But uh, this is it. There's 14 sites in the campground. It's a little cold and windy right now, but later in the year, I bet it's going to be warm and sweltering. There's the sun. We're just about to get sunset. And it's part of the Snake River Canyon Park. This is a new yes. RV camp that was just... Opened last year in September. Yep, new park as of last year. Uh, way off down there, you can just see the oh, there it is over there. The Mormon uh, cathedral or whatever tabernacle, temple. I don't know, temple that's the word I was looking for. So, um, and it has the Statue of the Angel Marani on top of it, as do all the Mormon temples. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow we'll be going through Salt Lake, and uh, we'll try to take a swing by the main temple in Salt Lake just to get a view of it. Um, I guess that it is built to last till the end of time, and... Uh, Knowing the dedication that Mormons that I know have, I believe it. Okay. It's also the most in depth place on the planet to learn and study 
your family's, any family's, genealogy. Okay, so we're just going to enjoy this view here one more time. We're actually in camp number 12. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Great sunset. Yeah. And sunset's not till 8.05. Yes, 8.05 for sunset. Of course, in relation to what time is it now? 7.48. And it's fairly quiet right now. There was one of those horrible generator things running in the distance, but I don't hear it now. Okay, um, back to my regularly scheduled laziness.